Today we're headed to Wicker Park. If you've heard of the iconic spot in the West Loop, Oshaval, you have to try it if you're in the know in Chicago. The best burger joint in Chicago. I would say it's probably one of the best burgers I've ever had. And you may have heard of Small Cheval. I've never been to Oshaval, but I've been to Small Cheval, which is a little shop that's up in the Wicker Park neighborhood. Okay. They're really good. They're not my favorite burgers in the city, I will say that. Corey, have you been to Small Cheval before? No. Have you been to Oshaval? Yes. Are you excited about today? Yes. That's all you really need to know. We're getting a cheeseburger. Come with us. Ran in there, got two bacon cheeseburgers off the menu. Cheeseburger plus $2 bacon add-on. Yeah, I gotta say, off to a bad start, that's stupid. The Oshaval in the West Loop that like has won all the awards known to man, it comes with like a very iconic bacon on it, which is why Corey's reacting the way he is. Yeah, no one's, you never eat their burgers and you're like, spectacular patty. Yeah. Their thing is their bacon, that's their thing. So we'll see what it's all about. They've been acquired, jump cut. That Chef. will be our first uh, work lunch. It'll be a little date. Yeah. Oh, that'll be Power fun. Power lunch. We're gonna do there it. There we go. Yeah. There you go. Sweet. I got you garlic aioli. Cool. Because you love garlic aioli. Mustard ketchup in case we want it for our burger. I don't know how you take it. This is more ketchup, I don't know. Here's some napkins. I'm really sorry about that. I screwed up. Don't hit me. Okay, people, move along. There's nothing to see here. The police are regulating. Second angle. Whew. That's a good looking bun. Oh. Sure. Wow, they uh, explosion! Jesus Christ, what are people doing in there? <laughs> I don't know. I've never this seen is... such a crazy assembly line for like. Yeah. It looked like a McDonald's back in like. Speed. That's the name of the game. The first stop for every McDonald's hamburger is the grill. Man, by two cooks whose sole job it is to grill those all beef beauties to perfection. Yeah, it looks great. Bacon, cheese. I wish they didn't explode jism all over the front of it. But... Right. You know, I don't know. I think I have just high expectations when it's not a fast food joint. Like this looks like someone in a fast food place packaged this. Right. Strike two, Archibald. Yeah. Kind of want to give it a third strike already, but no, we'll, don't, 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 don't do it. Well, look at this fucking <laughs> fast bacon. I mean, really, what they did is they turned Archibald into a fast food restaurant. Like when you go in there, you'll realize they literally just wanted it to be that. Yeah. So maybe some quality will be taken away from that because of that situation. But interesting. Smells looks good. We'll see, we'll see. Maybe this thing will end up getting like nine strikes for you or do you stop at three as many as it deserves good luck the small cheval cheeseburger comes with two patties right yeah it looks like it wicker park cheers oh yeah mm. it is damn good though i'm not convinced <laughs> hmm. i'm just dripping on my legs <laughs> that's pretty good my sauce is pretty good Sauce is good, nice cheesy texture. I love the double patty. I'm normally not a big pickles guy in burgers, but this works for this, I guess. I know it's got a really good, just overall kind of like smoky meat flavor. You know, it's just like some burgers, they pack more of like a smokiness to it. And I feel like that's what this beef has. What does that even mean? What does that even mean? What does that even mean? What the f does that even mean? Hmm, it's like a really deep flavor. This would be really good if you've never had the original, but this, to be quite honest with you, yeah. is garbage compared to the original. I think if you sat somebody down for the first time and gave them an off cheval burger and a small cheval burger, I think there'd be a clear winner. Yeah, interesting. Not to mention, it was $12 each, you know? That's without fries. Yeah, I think I, I kind of come to expect that a little bit. Right. I guess without fries is a little bit much, but. But here's kind of what Corey's talking about the bacon. Like the off cheval bacon is like a work of art. This is just kind of like a thin little brother version of that. The off cheval bacon is the biggest bacon I think I've ever had. It's about, it's damn near close to a quarter inch thick. Yeah, it looks like your wallet. That is the reason that I get it though. So when you take the reason that I get a burger, when you take that reason away, it's just two okay patties. And then the sauce is cool, but right. the bread's good. They got good bread. I like this bun for this burger. Yeah, me too. It's like hefty and holds everything, but it's still soft. I like the onion choice too. Red onions, chopped fine. Chopped fine. Great burger, but when you're comparing it to the best burgers, because yeah, this isn't even close. Uh huh. Like the reason that Oshavel was better than Kuma's to me was that bacon. 
Right. I always thought Kuma's made better burgers. Like the actual, just a straight up burger. Mm -hmm. This, um, I bet you there's 40 burgers that you can get local to Chicago that are probably better than this. Mm -hmm. This is okay. Do you prefer a Five Guys burger to this one? Yes. I would rather get a Five Guys. This is so good. No doubt about it. I'm sorry, man. It's not giving me that taste that like, I don't know. Well, that goes to show you, we know this. We've talked about this in a couple places. We've saw a key, a key common factor that I found between places that I really, 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 really like. I've seen quite consistently when talking to owners that they're big on ingredients. They don't spare a goddamn dime on ingredients. That's their thing. And this is what happens when you take something that I loved because it had a really great ingredient and you just like, all right, let's see if we can make it cheap and give it to them fast. Right. Well, then I'll just go to fast fucking food and pay a third of the price. Like yeah. if I want something fast, I'd rather get it cheap than like a oh, garbage version of your real good thing you know there's no room for that middle ground yeah I either want to pay because you can still pay 12 bucks and get a regular Oshaval one so why am I not just doing that like getting a good one you know what I mean I think the thing that consistently comes up whenever people in Chicago at least talk about Oshaval it's always about the weight it's right like, I've been wanting to go to this place for a while right. but uh, been scared of the wait. Yeah. I don't want to wait. I don't no. want to stand in line. I don't want to go at 2.30 on a Monday to still only wait an hour. Mm -hmm. So I get that portion, mm -hmm. but they've businessized it. <laughs> what does that even mean? Mm -hmm. They've Just turned smart. it. I do right. respect I mean, smart. They're making more money. Guaranteed. When you're doing that well, of course you're going to get bigger, but don't but you're just not let curious. the product suffer. And it seems like it's taking a little bit of a hit. Maybe Oshaval owners would say, if you want the Oshaval burger, don't go to small Oshaval, but, but, mm -hmm. but don't charge 12 to the same price. Yeah. If you've been to Oshibal, you understand that it's like, you just wait. It's That's like you're insane. about to get on the Millennium Falcon. Wait, the Millennium Falcon, the Millennium Force, that's to your point. Back when it launched and you're like, I'm gonna wait four hours to ride a two minute roller coaster. Nice shots, by the way. Mm -hmm. Well, it was inevitable, we gotta rate it. Out of five disgruntled guys in line, how many disgruntled guys in line do you give the bacon cheeseburger from Small Cheval? Well, when people, sometimes people like to bitch and moan, oh, take price into consideration. Well, some, when you're getting a $12 burger, you damn well better take price in per, into consideration. Right. Based off that, I'm going to give that a uh, 1.8. That was well below the average $12 burger. If I'm buying a $12 burger, no f***ing fries, that better be a hell of a lot better than that. That was, dude, there's little burger joints in Toledo. I can go spend four bucks on a burger and get something, no joke just as good as that. That's mm -hmm. incredibly disappointing having had Oshaval before, and I swear by the regular Oshaval, that place is, he does, yeah. to this day, me and Kylie's favorite place mm -hmm. to go to. So, you know, if you're in town, definitely hit up Oshaval, but do not hit up Small Cheval. This is just another reason why I can't wait for you to eat the Loyalist burger. Me too. Recently uh, kind of nudged Oshaval out of the way on some some rankings, but for that burger head today, I'm gonna give that a, uh, I'm gonna give it a 2.25. I just am. So that's the end of the conversation. It's below average for a burger that, a price. I just said it, man. I said it, I said it. All you gotta know, that's mm -hmm. it, that's it. But it was a pleasure eating with you. Yeah, it's still good too. I still enjoyed that, but you, you gotta know. compare it. This is a food review show. You gotta compare it to other things. It is what it is. It is, what it is. Mm -hmm. Eat it, bitch. It's always good. Little quick shout out to Frank Bruckneck. Also, um, when he donated, he made a really funny joke about his girlfriend, how she was talking shit about him watching food reviews, and now he's recently caught her being addicted to it. So. <laughs> Suck that, his yeah. girlfriend. Hey, his girlfriend. Sucks to like us. What does that even mean? Also, big shout out to Jennifer Fulmer Evans. Three names. I like you three times as much. And also, Tom Dulkis. I don't know if I'm saying your name right, but I still love you. Oh, here comes Dulkis. Donating to creators again. Classic Dulkis. No one's ever said that. Thank you to those patrons so much. Guys, we're like approaching like 160 people that are donating per month. It's crazy. A couple weeks back, I got kind of like caught up in edits and I just dropped the next three days worth of videos to Patreons of $5 and up. So like, there's little perks like that. Like if you're donating, we're gonna hook you up. You know what, screw it. I'm just gonna give them all three of these now. Just saying, if I'm you like this did series, that. they did that. Good move. Did that just move. for people that are five and up. They got all three of our McDonald's videos you oh, saw like sick. two weeks ago. You know what, you guys deserve it. And they got all a bunch of comments on there. It like brought in new people wanting to do that. So it's just like a good business move. I, I feel like I'm a business man. I don't think you use that right. Yeah, the, the way that you, I should have said, it's I'm not, not a business man, I'm a businessman. I'm not a businessman. No, I'm not a business. He's gonna come a man. This is gonna I'm be, a businessman. He's gonna hurt himself. <laughs> Don't think too hard, please. Thank you guys so much. Share this video if you want. <laughs>